So Jefferson was essentially saying like slavery is good for people. Essentially, which is insane. Spirometry is a test that measures how well our lungs are doing. But for decades, there's been a racial correction for spirometry that assumes if you're black or Asian, you have lower lung functioning than any other race. And once again, it connects to this long history of false beliefs about race, this time all the way to Thomas Jefferson, where Thomas Jefferson explicitly said that the difference in structure of the pulmonary apparatus made black people suited for plantation labor. And that actually being able to revitalize the lungs in the field is a way that a slave was able to make their lungs better. Sorry, so Jefferson was essentially saying like slavery is good for people? Jefferson was saying that slavery was good for people because it helps revitalize the lungs and helps black people who have low lung fun functioning be able to get blood flow through there so they can actually breathe, <laughs> essentially, which is insane. So we were talking about the 1700s, 1800s. So now jumping forward to literally 2000s when uh, the Human Genome Project was done and showed that you can't look at someone's genetic code and figure out what race they are. You can figure out their ancestry, but you can't figure out race because race changes over time based on what we defined at the time. Sometimes it's skin color, sometimes it's hair color, eye color, different physical features. There is no genetic or biological basis for race, but it's built off of these false beliefs that were used to categorize people and that those categories over time have led to differences because of how we treated different races.